feel like just like going on to the point of like schools and stuff like that, I feel like there is a lot more comprehensive like, you know, um, policies in place for like, you know, abuse. Like uh, the college I went to had like a zero tolerance against like transphobia, homophobia and stuff like that. I feel like a lot more schools are trying. Yeah, so I, I was in school when Section 28 was yeah. um, kind of in effect and then I think it ended. Um, just as I was kind of entering high school, yeah. Um, but the effects were still kind of felt after that. So yeah. I remember, like, um, my best friend, um, we used to get called lesbians all the time just because we were just really close. And I think kids are just like, yeah, horrible. <laughs> uh, they don't really understand yeah, what they're yeah. saying. Yeah, I remember we would tell the teacher about it, and then they, there's nothing they could do about it. They're just like, mm -hmm. oh, it's fine. Just carry on doing whatever, because they weren't allowed to do anything about it. They weren't allowed to kind of open that conversation. As I did kind of enter high school and started doing things like like sex education and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, again, it was like very much like um, a man and a woman and have sex. This is how you put a condom on. These are some STIs that you can get. This is how not to get pregnant, and that's it. And uh, that's all I kind of learned. Um, there was nothing else like um, about, you know, um, how people identify, nothing about consent either, yeah. even like that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely come a long way. And I think the devastation that Section 28 mm. um, kind of left in schools is, is kind of lifted. Because yeah. um, I've got a, um, a cousin, for example, and uh, she's yeah. 16, and she's like really open, really kind of, um, you know, well. Um, kind of understood, yeah. is that the right way to say yeah, it? About like LGBT and like, about different identities and stuff like that. And then I've got a, a nephew who is seven years old um, and his mom, obviously my sister, is um, really keen to teach him about um, different types yeah. of people. Like for, for Christmas, for example, as well as like a remote control car because I'm not a monster. I got him a book about um, Marsha yeah. P. Johnson. Um, and that that was really cool, yeah. but that, that would never have happened when I, was, when I was a kid. It was like, we do not speak about it. I feel like when I was at school, I had like, it was a lot more open with issues like that. Like there was a lot more conversation. It was like, I came out quite early in my like school years, you know mm. what I mean? Like people knew and obviously like, it didn't, it didn't always mean good for me. Like people were mean, like I'd, I'd get called stuff and get shouted stuff, you know what I mean? And I come from like a South Asian background as well. So like conversations like that weren't really included when I was growing up. So the only place I could get them from was whether I sought them out myself yeah. or, you know, I saw them in school. So for me, it was, you know, at school was probably like the main component of me learning about my own issues. Like when I was in year eight, I think we did like um, an RS lesson and um, we, we, we verged on to like sexual identities. And like, you know, I remember me and my friends sitting there saying that like, think about it this probably wouldn't have happened 20 years ago you know what i mean like i feel like schools have improved in a sense it's actually really interesting to hear that because like my, my school experience was so different where like you know if you if we had a zero tolerance i don't think it was always used to affect you know what i mean but we yeah. did have a zero tolerance it, it existed there was the, the thought behind yeah. it had been kind of... the policy was there you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so like the like the, the, we did campaigns like LGBT, like like we're doing right now, LGBT History Month. Mm. We, we we were part of LGBT History Month, like Pride Month. You know, maybe some of it was superficial. Yeah. But the conversation was out there. And it was open. Yeah. It kind of created a different environment. For you, yeah. So. Yeah. So and especially coming from my background, like I wasn't exposed to anything. Yeah. Like LGBT until I was like. I think the first my first experience was Delete, so Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that was questionable or not, but you know <laughs>